All floating right. above the ground. Apteca. Uh, where else? Is that a restaurant? Looks like a nice little little place right there. Where? Uh, on the other side of the pharmacy. Ah. Uh -uh. Across from the pharmacy. Yeah, that looks nice. It could be in Prague. This kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Deus Ex, uh, Mankind Divided, which was in Prague. Apteca Calatigo. Are you looking it up? Yeah. It doesn't say. It doesn't say what it is. It just says downtown. Where is um, where is this place located? Where's uh, where where who makes tabletop sim? Berserk. Where are they where are they located? Well, this brought me up. Arcoa Apteca Pharmacy. <clears throat> About Berserk Games. It's loading very When I slow. put in Apteca, Google Translate says it's Polish, but it just translates it to Apteca, so I don't know if that's accurate. Apparently, Marcoa Apteca Pharmacy is in. Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> I mean, that makes a bit of sense. Uh, their about page does not seem to say where they're from. It says it's a Russian pharmacy in the U.S. I'm on Google Maps, and I'm looking at... A pharmacy called Apteca Calatego de Nioa Chalm, which is in Chalm, Poland. And it appears to be along a street on the Oh, this says they're in America. So at a T intersection. This is a T intersection. There is only a wall uh, at one end. Um, I'm I'm looking at the picture though, and oh. it's not the same building. Oh, okay. That I'm looking at. Too bad none of the other text is legible. So sopot, s o p o t. I say, it, it say says that? it says it says something stow. It's not Barstow. It's 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 a street sign. It's it's in front of the uh the oh, pharmacy. Right in front of us. It says it's it's S O P O T and then something stow, Christow or something stow. <laughs> Pot is a town on the Baltic Sea in northern Poland. Well, uh, that's probably what this is. Apparently it's a Polish town, but uh, the company, according to Giant Bomb, is uh, American. So. Giant Bomb. All right, are we ready for some for some hardcore loading of assets? No. I'm going to crash. You might. You no, might. I'm going to crash. Oh, I need Uh, you guys are gonna have to reselect your color. You can select the same color, just just like re repick it for the uh, money counter to come out. I think I'm gonna need to wait for it to actually finish. That's fine. You're at twenty five percent, forty five percent. I'll I'll update you in case your thing is like frozen. Merrick, what have you done? What What have I done? We're exposed to vacuum under the table. <laughs> 
What is this? I actually don't know what this is, what this place is. I have no idea. I was I actually went to look and see if there was like a background of the um of the Serenity Bridge, but but there's not. It's just like this is it. But I don't know what this is. I don't recognize it at all. I don't either. I pick red again. Yeah, just just pick it again. Lost joke, pick uh pick blue again. And then also oh, if blue. you want to uh pull your drawer out, it's just a little um Pull it out like you would. Because you will need it. Uh, I might actually pull the middle drawers out as well because uh, some of these boards, some of these things are kind of big and they will like take up your entire friggin' area. And you might want to share a little bit of the of the middle area with your with your friend. Is this board different from the way it was? Last yes. Time we looked at so it? yes, it is. So I will explain everything. So this is Firefly, uh, the game. Uh as you can see, Firefly the game, rule book. Uh, I have changed it because the original, um, the upload of this put in all of the expansions, like mixed in with everything. And I thought that if we're going to play it for the first time, we should probably try to play it uh, vanilla first and then add the expansions. Yeah. Uh, so things that the expansions added were more map. And thus, I have covered over those areas so that we do not have more map. We have the vanilla map and nothing else. And then when we add in the expansions, we will reveal more of the map. Um, other things that are not used, the the bounty and alert board are not used in vanilla. Um, a lot of the uh, the contacts stuff uh, are not used. Only like the first five. Uh, this is leftover. Don't don't use this one. Um use that also uh there's less captains because again we're only using vanilla non-expansion captains um there are places that you could uh, they're not even on the map so like it doesn't really matter but um like these are the only places that you can actually go whereas these other places are places that you can't go uh there's no rim space uh before the expansions there's only border space um and and that's that's kind of it and here's all the expansions over here i've kind of put them all separate them all together um also over here you will notice uh all of these uh ships uh we will only be picking from the first four the ships are all exactly the same like there is no difference between the first four ships they are all the same and that is what we'll be using um the difference comes in uh, uh when we pick our captains the captains are, are a little bit different uh these three uh right here are official expansion ships they are a little bit different and then these are like fan-made expansions, basically, of which there are a surprisingly large number for this game. So here's here's how this works. It is it is very similar to Outer Rim in that you play a, a person with a ship and you go around and you do jobs and you try to get money, except unlike Outer Rim, where the only goal is to get 10 fame. Um, instead, uh, uh, we have these story cards, which have different goals on them, uh, uh, depending on what you want. And this game actually doesn't have all of the story cards that the game actually has, but it has several. And we will be doing the recommended for new players story card, which is kind of a short game. Uh, games uh, can last for several hours, kind of like Outer Rim. This the first this first game should shouldn't take, shouldn't take that long. So what you're saying is this will take us the entire session. Yes, probably will. Do we have uh, that many, that extensive knowledge of Firefly and Serenity one-liners, though? Do you, Lost Joke? You still haven't uh, repicked blue yet. I did. I'm blue. We'll do it again. Repick the color. Otherwise, I'll have to. There you go. There's your money display. Uh, so we uh we have to decide who's gonna go first. Uh, I guess I will spawn in us, spawn in us, <coughs> spawn in a uh a die. I don't know why I spawn in a black die on a blackboard. That's probably not that great for Twitch. Uh, I guess I'll just roll first. <laughs> well. Well, I'm not going to go first. Craig might go first. Next. That wasn't rolling. 
He threw it. It's fine. I saw it. It it was thrown. I I did not. Uh, who was that? That was the one. That was me. Thanks. Let's 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 you and I roll. Wait, let's lost joke. You roll next, and then you and I will uh type. <laughs> <What the? laughs> All right. Well, I got four. Three. And lost joke. Lost joke, you and roll. Roll again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Come on. All right. Two. All right. So it seems <laughs> like... God damn. These dice. All right. So it seems like... No, no. That's it. We're done. All that's right. it. Craig right. goes first. Craig, you. And then me. And then me. Uh, actually, no. I think we'll just go with Craig goes first, and then we'll just go clockwise around the table. That, was, right. that would be the easiest. So actually, Lost Joke will go second. Anyway, Craig, you get to pick your ship and your captain first. Please only pick from these first four uh, things for your ship. Again, they're all exactly the same. Just pick whatever you like the name of. Uh, when you pick it, just bring the whole bag to your to your area, and uh, then you can start pulling stuff out of it. Are there any thematic links other than just Mal and Serenity? I don't think so. They're all Firefly ships, and I don't really think that there we really saw that many other Firefly ships in the show. I think we might have seen like one or two, but yeah, just pick what you want. Uh, keep in mind the things on the uh the sides. Are their skills? Uh, it's kind of like in Outer Rim where they had like you know technology or stealth or whatever. Except in this case, there are only three. There's fighting, there's engineering, and there's negotiation, and they will come up on uh, skill checks. So keep that in mind. Also, um, if they have any uh, separate things, uh, for instance, this uh, Nandy here has uh, moral. That means that she will get disgruntled if you do any illegal jobs, and that is the same for any crew that you get. Uh, if any of your crew have the moral tag, that means if you do any illegal jobs, um, they will get disgruntled if you involve them. You do have the option to not involve them in an illegal job, but then again, you don't get to use their skills against your roles if you do that. So That doesn't out. make sense. Malcolm did all kinds of illegal jobs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, Lost Joke, is Let's your see. turn to pick? Come here. Also, feel free uh, to go ahead and start taking stuff out of your ship. And if you want to change the ship color to to your color, go go ahead. Oops. Take the whole bag. Take the whole bag and then start pulling stuff out. Oops. You might. Uh... Don't know where that went. It took up the entire space. Yeah, I don't know where that went either. Let's let's do a search. It's not and... in either of the ship bags. Here it is, I found it. I'm questioning the game maker's knowledge of Firefly if they think if they're equating morality with uh not doing anything illegal. Well Why did you put the nonsense back? Gee, I can just delete it honestly, because I mean we're not gonna like reuse the the stuff. When we when we set up we're just we'll just load new. Uh I guess I will take Serenity, and I will be. I take a I wild guess, guess that I'll this be is the Marco. main drive. Yeah, all the ships come with uh, a main drive, so you will also be getting um, some money and some other stuff before we start. And again, feel free to uh, change your color to to purple or whatever, or 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 blue or whatever you know, whatever you want to use. I'm going to change mine to, to green just so it's easy. All right, real, you got yours. Okay, so uh, now. And, um whoever went whoever is going to be going last let me set these stuff up which would be real 
uh, go ahead and set your ship somewhere where you want to start. Uh, we don't get to kind of know what we need to do right now. So just pick a place. Uh, generally, you don't want to be next to the Reavers. If you're planning on doing um, illegal stuff, you probably don't want to be near the Alliance ship. Who is the other? Oh, that the Reavers Red. Oh. Yeah, Reavers Red Alliance ship is this one. That's uh, that's uh, uh, Silver. Sorry, I need to find a particular card and take it out. There it is. And then this one as well. Uh, uh so I guess I, I should you know what? Let me let me explain some of this stuff to you. Let me explain to you what some of this stuff means. So if you look on the planets, if there is a sign under the planet, like this one says Osiris and it's kind of under the planet, that is a supply place. That is a place where you could go to buy stuff. You can only buy stuff from that particular like planet. So that would be over here, o Osiris uh, Shipworks. You could only buy from that particular deck on that planet, etc. If there is a name above the planet, for instance, this Nisco here, this Patience, that is a contact, and that is these. That is where you get a job. Um, some other things you can do sometimes. Um, uh, like you sometimes you can sell stuff to them if you if you are if you have good rep with them. Um, hey, what do you do with There that? are some places that have both, like for instance, the Space Bazaar has a contact and a place you can buy stuff. Or Persephone has a badger and you can buy stuff there. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, when you want to decide where you're going. So I can put myself just here? If you want, yes. Alright, I'll be there. Uh, I guess I need to decide... Oh, why did I put this stuff over here? My tables over here Hold on. i kind of wish all the things were on the same side like in the other one yeah so that well the text is always right up upright rather unfortunately just orient yourself so the text is upright and uh and then go, go all the way up to the top corner to grab my stuff yeah yeah that's it doesn't really matter because we're start. floating cameras lost joke go ahead and pick your starting location See, that's what I'm doing. It's wherever, it's wherever you want. Hi, join nerd guy. Why isn't giant nerd guy playing with us? Is well, the question. It's, it's only a four-player game, unfortunately. Oh. We could, we could, could, we could conceivably do like five players, but I only made four money counters. So, and Craig, you can put your guy wherever you want to start. Do, Describe uh, core go into my main drive. Yes. Okay. I mean that's your engine. Yeah, you can upgrade that eventually. You can, I mean you can if you want to buy a new one, if you see one in the in the in the supply decks, you can buy a new one. Also, um you're probably gonna wanna get more upgrades, and you definitely a major factor of this game is getting crew. Like the 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 Star Wars Outer Rim, you could kind of go without more than like maybe one crew, but in this one your max crew is six, and you generally want to fill that out like ASAP. Bounty hunters work a lot. Do any of the expansions add to the player count? No, I don't believe so. Hmm. They do add other things that you can do, though. Including piracy and bounty hunting. But we won't get to that. That's that's why I wanted to do a, a, a vanilla game first, because... Um, you know, I want to kind of introduce the game first. Well, I'm going to let you guys know right now that I'm moral, so I aim to behave. Okay. But this is weird. My card says when you complete a crime job, take $500. So they're rewarding me for disgruntling myself. Yes. Let me let me double check the rules on on being moral. Like I read through these rules like five times, but there there's still some things that I'm not super clear on.
Yeah, it's just it's just whenever you complete a, an illegal job, an immoral job. It looks like there is not necessarily like an it looks like an illegal job could be could be not immoral. So it looks like there is a difference between illegal and immoral. Okay. I guess it means if you murder someone. Or yeah, not. the the job cards will say specifically immoral and not just illegal or or illegal. So that makes more sense. All right. So uh, here, everybody gets uh, 3K. Go ahead and pull 3K out of the thing. You can, you can stack it. You can, um, you can do like any kind of any kind of stacking job that you want. As long as it's on your board, it will count. You can even stack them all together. Oops, I need two more fives. How much? 3K. Three K. Three three thousand. And like I said, you can you can stack everything up in like the same stack too if you want. That's like it doesn't really matter. It will count on your money counter because I am that good of a coder. Uh, you could also possibly put your money in the center table as long as it's on your half of the center table. Um, it'll it'll also count there because these tables are a little bit small for this game. Hey, where are you going? Good. The hell just happened? I, I thought you got a new mouse. <laughs> I put no, that wasn't my mouse. I put one of them the bills down on the stack and it decided to run away with it. The hell just happened? <laughs> what just what know. is this? <laughs> what did I you put do? Money down. That's all I did. I put it down. That has nothing to do with my What did you do to the money one show? There's, don't forget this money over here. There's still money over here. Someone take it. I have to remind myself what, what we start with. What did you push? Six fields. Push a button. I let go. All right. So everybody also take six fuel and two parts. There are these uh, these things here or, or up here. There's some too. Go ahead and take six. Uh, easy ways is just press six and two and just... Grab them and then put them down. I think we can do that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and these do have to go I'm into still your. Muted. Yeah, you are. You so do... six and two. Yeah, six fuel, two okay. parts. They do have to go into your cargo hold or stash. Um, you can put them together because these only take up half half a space. So you can put them together if you want. You can like mix, like one fuel and one part. You can do that. It is it is okay to do that. Um, I would probably. Snap. What? Are they supposed to snap into the cargo hold? Yeah, a little bit. It's it's not a it's not a heavy snap. Um, I would probably recommend putting a couple of fuel in your stash. Um, it matters. Uh, sometimes if you get pulled over by the Alliance cruiser, they will search your place. Or sometimes if you get raided, uh, on like a random event, sometimes they will search your your place but not touch your stash. And you can still move without fuel, you just cannot move nearly as fast. Uh, alright, so... You guys so... may want to lock your ships, your ship carts. Yeah, I'm gonna go in down. Line. Actually, yeah. Let's press L on it. Uh, so, movement. The way movement works is you can either mosey, and these are actual words that are used in the manual, you can either mosey or you can full burn. If you mosey, you only move one space in any direction and you do not have to resolve any of the uh, navigation cards. Um, that's just it. That's your move. Uh, if you full burn, then you use up one fuel and then you can move as many spaces as it says on your drive core, except every time you move one space, you have to do a nav card. You have to resolve a nav card. You have to pull one from the deck and look at it and do what it says, if it says it's to do anything. And then you may continue on, unless it says that you have to stop, and then you have to stop. So by nav card, you mean border space card? Border space and alliance space. It depends on where ah. you are. Uh, anything that is a blue spot on the map is alliance space, and anything that is a yellow spot is uh, border space. And that's where you decide okay. to draw the card. When we get into the expansions, there will be red spots, and that will be rim space. 
Um, so that's your choice. Uh, so moseying, don't use fuel, but you can only move one at a time, and you don't have to do the the cards. And full burn, you do have to do a bunch of cards depending on how long, you know, how many spaces you you move. Uh, you also cannot move diagonally, just in case you're wondering. For instance, uh, up here, like if you look up here, uh, I could not move from here to here in one space. It has to be like, you know, one and then two. There's not a lot of areas okay. like that, just letting you know. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, job cards generally will tell you what you can do. Uh, if you look at these contact cards, uh, it will tell you uh, what you get if you are solid with them. And to get solid with them, you basically just have to successfully complete one job for them. Um, so, for instance, if you are solid with Harkin, then that means uh, you can ignore if you get uh, the Customs Inspection Nav card. You don't have to do what it says. Uh, and also, apparently, you can buy uh, fuel from him for 100 bucks each when you're on his space. Um, for uh, Amnon Duel, I think you can sell um, contra uh, contraband and cargo to him for this much uh, money, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Generally, you, you, these are just sell prices. You can't buy stuff from these guys uh, unless otherwise noted. And so that's basically it. And so we just go around. You, you try to get more uh, a crew. You try to get uh, gear for the crew. You try to do jobs to get money. Um... I guess we should probably go into the crew real quick because there's one more thing. Let's, um, so come down here to the supply decks because you're going to want to see this anyway. So the way you buy supply is kind of weird. Uh, we take off the first three and you can feel free to look at these as I am discarding them. So we have this. Obviously the, the price on the bottom, that's easy enough to, to know. Uh, counts as transport that can um that will come in handy depending on the things that you are doing uh generally that's in response to a card that you are resolving and of course it requires a pilot to use you'll notice that uh some of your captain things might have a job listed on them like Womack here is a soldier uh Mal is I believe a pilot and a soldier uh Corbin is a mechanic um the crew also have jobs like that So Marco has no job. Yeah, Marco doesn't seem to have a job, but he does count as transport, which is pretty nice. And I can also buy stuff, certain things at <laughs> half the price. Uh, so here's the second card for Regina. <coughs> Y'all want to look over here? It is a firearm, and uh, this is a piece of gear, so you would give this to either your captain or a crew member, and it would give you this uh, one skill, one one fighting. One fightiness. And then here's a person. He is a soldier. He has two fighting. And apparently he may use gear in kosherized tests. I will explain kosherized to you uh, later. So when you are at a place and you are thinking about buying stuff, say you're at Re Re Regina and you're thinking about buying something, you may take three cards, either from the discard pile or... Uh, you can also pick new cards from the thing, but you may you may only kind of consider at most three cards. It, it's kind of a weird thing. Like there's nothing stopping you from looking just through the discard pile and picking out cards that you might want to be interest you know be interested in and pulling them out because the discard pile is going to grow. But you can you can look through the discard pile like at your leisure. Basically, you may buy only up to two things at a time. And even if you do pick out another card from here, there's no there's no compulsion to buy anything. Like you could pick out three cards, three new cards, and you don't have to buy them. But you may buy at most two things at a time. Uh, when you're at a supply thing, you may also buy uh, unlimited amounts of um, fuel and parts. I think fuel is like 200 and parts are like 300 or something like that. Let's see. Buying, it says in here. I wish it would say like somewhere. Here we go. Fuel is one and parts are three. And you can also do that in addition to buying two, two of these cards. Um, so that's kind of the way buying is. That also happens with contacts. When you're at a contact part, you may look, you may, you know, you may look at three cards 
and you just and you can take up to two of them. However, there's a limit. So there are two places where you can have job cards. You have active jobs and inactive jobs. An active job is when you've started a job. Generally, that means you have to go to where the job starts, and then you have to spend an action to start it, to, to work it. And then that goes uh, into your active jobs thing. You can only have up to three active jobs at a time. You may only hold three inactive jobs, and generally those are held in your hand away from prying eyes. Um... So, so basically, uh, when, when the game actually starts, everyone will actually get three jobs. Um, and, uh, and you can discard those if, if you want, but you may only ever hold at most three in your hand at one time. And then you may only ever have three active jobs at one time. Uh, a turn consists of, uh, options. You may move uh uh as as you know decided earlier the the moseying or the full burn you may if you are at a supply planet uh buy stuff uh you can also buy fuel and parts uh uh with no limit or you can shore leave shore leave is a way to get rid of disgruntled on your crew but you cannot buy and shore leave unless you're unless you're like actually i don't think you can buy and shore leave at the same time because they're both under buy and you can only do one buy so you will probably want to shore leave at some point. Uh, you can deal, and deal just means talking with a contact and, and getting a job if you're at a contact place. Or you can work. Uh, and working is either starting a job um, or uh, uh, if you literally have nothing to do, you can just get a free 200 bucks for doing nothing uh, uh, at, a, at a planet. Are you all with me so far? I know it's kind of a lot, and we'll we'll wanna, kind of learn as we go. I want a copy of the turn thing, turn card. That's fine. Copy. Does everyone want a copy? Might as well get everyone a copy. Yeah, that'd be good. Gib. You can make it smaller, too, if you want. You can, like, smallen it up. Only if you... Put it on Why can't I... Anything <laughs> small again? Uh, minus key on it. You have to promote us. Oh. But I just put it in my hand and then look at it when I need to look at it. Why don't I just do this? Options. No, permissions. Scaling. There you go. <laughs> You're good. I'm just going to make it tiny and use alt to look at it. Yeah, that's probably... Like How that. small can I make? I can't even... Yeah, I can't even... I can't even zoom in on it. Like, it's so small. It's, it's still too small <laughs> on yours. I just put mine on the middle. Oh, if you make it small, then it looks small even if you alt it. So. Yeah. I just put that mine in, on the middle on the middle table because we can just share that. Uh, last thing I will explain before we actually start the game. Uh, sometimes you will do a job or you will get a nav card that requires you to resolve a die. Uh, let us take this one, for example, this Reaver Cutter die that is automatically, because we're playing a game of three or more players, this actually gets taken out first, um, and then eventually it might get reshuffled in. Um, this says uh, you have options, so you can either do option one or you can do option two. Um, obviously, to do option two, you need a pilot and a mechanic, and you need to spend one fuel. Um, but let's say we do option one. That means you do need to... Kill all passengers and fugitives. Like, that is that is not an option. You have to do that. And then you roll uh, against your fighting skills. So you have to roll an 8. And that means that whatever number you get on the dice, plus however many fighting icons that you have. So, for instance, uh, let's go look at Mal. Mal has 2. So if he were to roll a 5, he would have a total of 7 fighting. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And that's why you want to kind of get a lot of crew and you want to give them uh, gear. Each crew member can hold one gear. Um, you can actually have more gear than you have crew members, but the gear, the excess gear is not is not in use, does not count for 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 roles. You can swap things out um, that way if you want, like like say you 
you want to do a certain thing and you want to swap some gear around, you can do that as long as you are not on your work action. Uh, and that's basically, that's the game. Let's, uh, let's try a turn. Craig, you are going first. What do you, oh wait, no, we got, we got to get uh, jobs. Everyone take, uh, let's see. We, there's like a special setup for this. Everyone take one from the Harkin and one from the Amnon Duel. Just take it in your hand. So you will notice if you look at your job cards, uh, there is a, uh, 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 for instance, a pickup. I don't know if you're say say pick up or what, but it's basically uh, it tells you where to start the job. Um, so like this one, I'll just I'll just show you guys this one. So this one, I need to go to Lindinium, which is in the White Sun area. Um, I need to load two cargo, so I actually have to go there. And then in order to start this job, I need to spend one action, one of my two turn actions, to work. Um, which would be which would mean I load two cargo. If you have something that says needs. You look on the right where it says needs. Uh, you need that at least that many that at least that much skill in order to even start the job. So if you do not have at least whatever is listed there, and then you know the icons will be full color if 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 you need them, then you cannot start the job unless you have that many skills on yourself or your crew. And then you know of course includes gear and stuff. And then in order to finish it, you would have to go to I would have to go to uh, Aesir and him and Bjorg. Where were the shit that is where is that here it is it's over here uh so i would have to tr make my way there and then deliver the two cargo if i somehow lose that two cargo uh, i am screwed um you cannot you can discard inactive jobs you cannot discard active jobs if you have an active job that requires cargo and you lose some cargo you are completely screwed. You cannot quit that job. It is now forever taking up a slot unless you get more cargo from another source and are able to finish it. So try not to lose your cargo <laughs> while you're on a job. Uh, let's actually continue to look at the supply things because we actually have to uncover all, all of the supply things. Let's look at silver hold if people want to look at this while I discard these. Because it might kind of yeah, supply deck. Because you might want to like if you see something that you that you want, you might want to you know head down here. You again, you are free to look at the discard piles at any time. Uh, don't look at the non-discarded piles. So this is a piece of gear that can give two um, fighting and is labeled as explosives. <laughs> Here's Stitch. He is cantankerous. He gives two fighting. And he has a special thing. And then here's another piece of gear. For Silver Hold. Osiris Shipworks. A drive core. Ooh, that's kind of nice. It lets you uh, move twice while moseying. Isn't Stitch basically one of one chokes alter egos? <laughs> Could be. The cantankerous another, one. Another ship upgrade. The janitor. A What's scruffy. his name again? Yeah, scruffy. scruffy. Hey, and another drive Stitch course. is just scruffy by oh, another name. Works. Oh, this is nice. No fuel required. It, you move less, uh, fewer spaces, but there's no fuel required to move to move that that many spaces. That's so kind of nice. All right, space bazaar. Well, there's wash. A moral pilot. Plus one to full burn range. That's pretty nice. Crybaby, when in a sector with an alliance cruiser, discard to ignore the alliance cruiser's effects. <clears throat> and a knife. Discard to add a fight. So you'd actually have to use this, like use it up. And then finally, Persephone. Yeah, it's like Resident Evil 2. <laughs> it is like Resident Evil 2. Fake ID because and it gives you... Knives uh, are uh, discardable. Gives you a negotiation skill. Bree. Whoever the hell that is. He's a mechanic. And Kaylee's fluffy pink dress. 
When buying from suppliers, you may buy up to three cards. That's kind of nice. All right, Craig. Now it is actually your turn. Do you want? What do you want to do? Do you want to move, or do you want to do stuff? Do you want to talk to Badger? Do you want to buy stuff from Persephone? Keep in mind that uh, if you don't like these three cards that I have placed in the discard pile, you may take, you may uh, pull up to up to three from the actual thing, and and look at them to to consider buying them. But you are not compelled to buy them if you do not want to. <sighs> So like if you want to buy stuff, you can, you know, you can pull three cards, three new cards, up to three new cards. Yeah. But also remember that you can only buy two things at most. Let me start some of this music. I got some uh, some Western themed music for this one. So I have to pick two of the categories. Yes, you can fly and buy, or you can deal and work, or you can fly and deal, or you can buy and work, etc. You can only do two things on your turn, and you can be it could be in any order, and you can't do two of the same thing. So you can't buy and buy. You can only do two different things. I thought you said we were going to start with three jobs in our hand. Uh, normally it's three jobs, but since we're doing this story card, uh, if everyone wants to actually look, come over and look at this, uh, the more brownish card that's over here. Uh, this is our scenario. This is our goals, and this is how we play this particular uh, 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 version of the game. This is the first time, the first timers uh, game. Uh, the story, which I guess I probably completely forgot. So there, these there are story cards, and they have a story that's framing the the way that this particular version of the game is set up. Uh, so you finally took the plunge and borrowed enough credits for a ship to call your own. You're the master of your destiny, and right now the destiny looks mighty uncertain. You're in debt up to your eyeballs with a creditor that's not the sort of man to be trifled with. And then the setup, the altered setup, is when taking starting jobs, only take a job from Harkin and Amnon Duel, and you may discard these jobs if you want. Okay. So generally the first, and you have to do the goals in order. <laughs> um, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, do jobs. Do jobs for uh, uh, both Harkon, Harkon and uh, Amnon Duel. And when you do a job, you are solid with those guys. And then once you finish that, you can take a goal. Now you do not lose a goal if you somehow become unsolid with someone. And generally unsolid, being unsolid means you fail a job. Um, you don't lose being a goal on, if you do that. Being on solid means you just wander off to an island with butterflies that will kill you. <laughs> sure. Because your place in the story is over. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> I know what he's talking about, but it's what kind of a, a reference vague to? reference. <laughs> Uh, it's Game of Thrones. It's, kind it's of a, a Game spoiler. of Thrones thing. Oh. Uh, eh. anyway, so generally at the moment you you pretty much just want to want to do jobs for now. Eh. And again, you do probably want to hire people. Um, one last thing about hiring people. Look at this guy because he's on top. Lund, so you have to pay two hundred dollars to to buy him, to hire him. That is also the amount that you need to pay him every time you finish a job. Hmm. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, if you do not pay him, he becomes disgruntled, and you have to put a disgruntled token on his thing. And if people get two disgruntled tokens, they quit. They leave. All right. 